afternoon, good evening. Today I'm in the terrace again. What to pluck today from the terrace to make a lovely, yummy dish? So I have lots of spinach. But before moving on to the dish, let me say something. People have been asking me, how come you have so much of spinach even though if you pluck so much of spinach? Every day you keep plucking but you have so much of spinach. Yes, the only trick is let the plant grow in a bushy way. And you have to pluck only the big leaves. Try to pluck the big leaves only. Let the small leaves grow. And besides these small branches will keep on growing. And you will have a bushy thing. Don't pluck from the top. Because this is from where you will have more and more of leaves. Let these leaves remain the same. You pluck it from down. In this way. The spinach keeps growing and it is a never-ending process. You will have spinach all the way. Just see, even though I keep plucking, plucking, but still it is so bushy. So let's move to this. Today we'll be plucking from this because it is so much of spinach in this plant. Just imagine, just see the from the bottom. It was only a single step that has grown into this. And the trick is don't cut off the stem. Just pluck the leaves. And it is a never ending process. So I hope the curies are solved. It's very simple. Thank you. And keep asking me the curies because it's interesting when you keep asking. So. Yeah, lovely spinach from my garden. Let's make two dishes that is palak chicken and palak roti so let's move i've taken spinach this much quantity with one and a half kg chicken. We have washed this spinach. This will go for blanching. So we will start the process. Step by step we will be moving. And I will be telling the quantity. This will be the amount of the spinach. From my terrace garden. So this will go for blanching. Not too much, just for one minute. That's it. We'll take it out. Spinach and mint. I've taken one bundle of mint and spinach. Why I have blanched spinach is when you add blanched spinach at the end, it gives a green color. So when you add it in the end, you just grind both mint and spinach. We'll add it here. Mint and spinach, palak and pudina. We have grinded it into fine paste. Now, and we'll add salt, half a spoon, just for the taste. We will add little cumin seeds, quarter spoon. You can add chili. We can add the carom seeds to it. But if it is for elderly or children, no need to add chili powder. So now we can just mix the dough. Make roti of your choice. Our pan is hot. Roti. Yeah, it's ready. It's cooked. Now let's do plating. Good. Enjoy it. Spinach roti. Have a great time. Easy to make, simple, right from the garden. It's simple to grow and yummy to eat. It's good for kids. You can make it every day and give it to your kids. They will love it. Indirect giving of spinach protein. Have a great time. See you tomorrow. If you like my videos, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. My name is Rajni Sharma Maga.